Hello, welcome to Tech Transform. Today we are uh, going to learn about Scala. In my last video, I have demonstrated you how to install in, in Scala and how to integrate uh, uh, Scala with Eclipse Kepler. So, in order to run our Scala program, we can access Scala from a terminal. We can uh, access Scala prompt also, and we can write uh, Scala code in Eclipse with Kepler also. So here in this session we are going to learn about why Scala, what is Scala. If there, are, there is already a lot of programming languages is available, uh, why we need to learn Scala. So Scala is the fusion of uh, object oriented concept plus functional programming. So we can say that it provides both the features of object oriented and functional programming and it, it, its its name is coming from a scalable language. So Scala is highly scalable language because of this fusion. It, it means you can pass uh, functions inside a functions as a parameter you can return a function you can uh, you can execute uh, all the functions uh, at a some at a, at a single time so that's what the Scala is functional programming that's what the very it's very fast and very efficient uh, other programming languages like Java Python Ruby uh, Node.js it's it's give you a high high performance uh, and if you're going to compare uh, these languages Scala with this Python Ruby and uh, Java so J Scala is very faster in that sense because your its compile time is very less it's and other programming language has, has a limit limitation of scalability in Python and limit of scalability in Python but Scala there is no limit <coughs> And whenever there is a, a world of big data is coming because nowadays we are we are generating a lot of data. It's called big data. And if we want to work with the big data environment, and if you if you want to analyze big data, you need a certain framework called Hadoop or Spark. And if you want to use Spark, the main language uh, programming language for uh, for a Spark framework is Scala. You can do, uh, uh, you can work Spark with Python language. Nowadays, Py Spark framework is also launched. But since uh, Spark is written in Scala itself, so it's it's very uh, you can get a lot of features and you can uh, handle the codes very efficiently. So and also it's run on top of JVM, uh, Java Virtual Machine. So Scala and Java becomes very highly interoperable means you can you can utilize java libraries in scala and and you can uh, still you can have a feature and you can use all those java features in scala so that's uh, the scala is very uh, highly interoperable with uh, java in java if you let's say if you want to write a, a certain uh, if you try to pro solve a problem let's say i want to find a word count the same 20 lines of code in Java you can write in four lines of code. So very less line of code if you are writing uh, same using Scala. So it's another programming language. As we already discussed combination of uh, object oriented functional programming language. Spark is built uh, with uh, on on uh, which built with Scala. If you if there is a lot of features is coming uh, in Spark it's always a Scala first. Also, uh, we can uh, work with Spark using Python or Java, but uh, Scala is very popular because it's very fast uh, compared to these languages. It can access Java classes also. It's it smoothly integrates with object oriented, object oriented as well as functional programming. Highly scalable. High scalability of Scala is a consequence of the fusion of object oriented functional programming. So we can say it's a pure object oriented language in the sense that every value is an object or Scala is also a functional language in the sense that every function is a value means we can pass function as a value or as a parameter. Scala is statically statically typed. What does that mean? Statically typed means any programming language if we, if you are saying that it's statically typed means the compiler is more dependent upon the types you are uh, in types you are explicitly declaring while creating a variable rather than on the value 
in uh, python and all other languages what happens if it is dynamic language the compiler is depending on on the value what it's, what you are going to assign to that particular variable and based upon that it will infer types scala is also uh, it it is also uh, uh, capable of in inferring types let's say if you have a variable if you are not explicitly mentioning the data type and the value you are assigning so it is going to a static type and later you cannot change the data type of that particular object but in other dynamic typed language you can change the uh, data types in my upcoming videos we are going to uh, work with the actual hands on how to what are the uh, scala and how to create variables uh, what are the data structures available in the scala so we are going to do a lot of hands on in a scala language so that's all for for this video thanks for watching have a good day bye